I joined the military in 2007. I was a master at arms, which is military police. I wanted to join the military to pay for school and to travel, and I picked that job because they let you carry a gun at 17. Uh, in 2010, I was uh, paralyzed from the waist down. I was in uh, Manama, Bahrain, which is off the coast of Saudi Arabia. Um, I was rappelling down a building. Uh, my line snapped, I fell five stories. Broke my right leg, my left arm, severed my spinal cord, and suffered a brain injury. Um, recovery's been slow. It was long, I was in the hospital for about a year and a half. Uh, I've had multiple surgeries on my spine, my leg, and my back. Uh, I had to learn to redo some things again because of the brain injury. Uh, did all that at Bethesda Naval Hospital and then the Tampa VA for spinal cord rehab. You just make do. I had an Xbox in my room, so I got good at Call of Duty. I like to live my life as normal as possible. Like I do the wheelchair basketball, I do um, sitting discus and shot put. Um, I just bought a, a tricked out motorcycle. It's handicap accessible so I can roll my bike on. So I just like to do stuff that I normally did. I'm trying to qualify for the Paralympic team. So they've been helping me with that. Um, that's my ultimate goal uh, for, for discus. I think it's greatly important. Some people, this is the only, the only time they get to go out and do something and be recognized and have a chance to win, you know, gold medals and whatnot. So, you know, everybody who's injured in the service should come out and do Warrior Games or at least try to make the team because uh, it's, it's a great experience. It's helped me get back out there. Uh, when I first retired out of the Navy, um, I wasn't doing a lot of stuff, and then I started coming to these camps, and that's when I got my groove back and started doing everything.